Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about, you know, what pick I use, and and uh, surprised I wasn't using a, the thumb pick anymore. So I thought I would show you guys that my uh, homemade picks that I started making uh, almost a year ago, I think, are still working, which I thought was pretty amazing. I mean, I, I made these picks, so I don't know if you can see them. He's clear. The only bad thing is when you drop them at a gig, you might as well forget finding them. It's not that easy. But uh, um, <clears throat> I made these, and now every time before a gig, I just resurface the, the tips, and they work great. And the good thing about this, this is polycarbonate, and you can buy this at Home Depot. It's a uh, 0.093, I think, thickness. I think they make it thinner than that if you wanted thinner ones, but uh, you have to order it probably. Home Depot doesn't carry anything thinner than this. But uh, the, I calculated these costs about four cents, four cents a piece. It takes a little while to make one, but <clears throat> I've been using these for a long time. Just these. One, two, three, four, six picks. And what I do, here's a little sanding block. Before a gig, if the tips are worn down, which they don't wear down very much, but I just resurface the tip by going 45 degree angle, you know, just like this, making sure the, the seam is down the center of the edge of the pick. 45 here, 45 here, and then I kind of you know, just go over the tip. You can make the tip shape just about whatever you want. And after I do that, and it's real easy to sand that stuff, I'll take a little piece of steel wool and I'll uh, buff it up just to smooth it out. And it, it only takes a few seconds. And you don't want to rough up the, the surface where your finger holds the pick because this stuff actually is sticky not not sticky but it's so smooth that it, it kind of sticks to your finger so it makes it easy to hold the thickness I like is comfortable it all started with uh, V picks uh, somebody told me about V picks here's a V pick you see how thick that thing is and I, I said what's the hype on these babies so I, I ordered a couple and uh, realized that gee, I said I can make one of these. It might not look as fancy, but I can make one. These are made out of acrylic on a machine or laser cut. You know, everything's nice and smooth. But they buff these on a buffer wheel too by hand. But I mean, they sell these picks. This pick right here, I think, is at least ten dollars. They have a real thick one, it's about this thick. I think it's. Forty dollars or some crazy thing, but uh, once I saw this, I decided uh, I actually took a V pick, uh, a thinner V pick, not this one, but an, and I've got it in my little box where I make the picks, all my tools. But uh, I used one of the V picks as a template, and I just stick it down on my sheet of Lexan. Here's the Lexan. I'll just stick it down there and trace it out and I cut it I cut it with my Dremel which is kind of a dusty mess there's probably an easier way of doing it you can see that I've cut this edge made quite a few did some experiments worked on it made a few different types of picks till I settled on this one I think this is the one I actually dropped at a gig and stomped around on it a little bit so my smooth surface isn't smooth anymore so I don't really like that one as much but uh, you know it has this protective protective film on it so it keeps the surface nice and smooth and protected while you sand it and cut it and everything and after you're done with cutting the template out and sanding the edges you just peel that uh, Lexan film off of there and you got a nice clear pick but uh, that's it I thought I mean 
Might be a pain, but it save you a lot of money. And the good thing is, is once you make a few, the only problem is I've got enough. I've got a sheet here big enough to probably make another couple hundred picks. And uh, that sheet, these sheets aren't cheap. I forgot how much they were, but like I said, it comes out to four cents a pick. Unless, of course, you only make ten picks, and then I guess it is expensive. But the good thing is, is they last forever. And you just have to, I mean, some people don't like thick picks, but I like them because they don't get hung up in the strings or anything. Anyway, that was a long-winded explanation of a pick that if you're tired of buying picks all the time, make you a few picks and be done with it. Talk to you later.